It's recording. It is recording. Wow. He's back. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Well, um, V is back. What's up everybody? Uh, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be reacting to the very exciting news that we got yesterday during the Super Bowl concerning Miss Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter uh, announcing Act Two. Not only did she announce her new album, but she dropped two new singles. Not one, but two. And for Act Two. For Act Two. One we of which, are so blessed to have Beyonce feeding us this content, this material, this art. We're so blessed to live in this time where Beyonce is at her peak. Yes. There are two songs, one of which is called 16 Carriages. Mm -hmm. That's the one stuck in my head right now. Yeah. And the other one is called Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em. So without further ado, let's check it out. I'm V. And I'm Lo. Let's go. like very it, it's like soulful like she put her weight into it her soul into it and um, I liken it to the Renaissance album because of when that whole uproar about the lyrics when she was talking about nine to five mm. working nine to five and she had a lot of backlash all over that lyric, but with this song, it's like she's kind of explaining more like she works. And although it doesn't look like the way you and I work, our nine to five, she's working 24 seven to make sure that she stays in shape. She stays like true to the image that she's putting out, her art. She stays in the studio creating and just her work ethic is unmatched. Yes. Yes, indeed. Indeed. I love it. Yes. <laughs> you ready for the next one? Yes. Okay, play the next one. Texas Hold'em. And I can play Texas Hold'em, by the way. Oh, that's like a game? Yes, okay. Wow. She is jiggling. Throw your keys up. Not a lip slip in sight. <laughs> Taylor could never. Love 
love that she still keeps it sexy, even though it's country music. Country music can be kind of conservative, yeah. At least that's how it's been um, represented. Yeah, we're, we're headed to the hoedown. Shoot is the next song on the album, by the way. It is. Is that your prediction? That's my prediction. Wow. Well, what'd you think? Mm. What do you think of Texas Hold'em? I love both of these songs. I love them. Mm -hmm. 16 Carriages gave us like an emotional thing, and then Texas Hold'em is more upbeat and fun. I'm just excited for this. I can't believe that we're here. I can't believe we're here. I can't believe we're here. <laughs> we're spoiled. I think we knew it was coming, but, but like, we didn't know it was coming. It's so crazy. In that very moment. Yeah. Maybe a maybe a commercial, um, which happened, but the the music and the album date yeah. dropped. It's like I official. Thought. I thought that the commercial was gonna reveal her or her um, a Vegas residency at the Sphere thing. Yes, that was that's yes. prediction. Right, but this was so much better. So yes, much better. Yes. Actually, I don't want her to go to the uh, what's it called the Sphere. I want her to do another tour. Jesus Christ! <laughs> such a production. Renaissance was such a production. And to think of her doing all of that for this era too. I don't know what she's gonna do, yeah. but I'm, I'm tired for her child. Yeah. Yeah, Beyonce, she done had that foot surgery, she done had that knee. I don't know how she does any of this, but she deserves all of the glory and the praise <laughs> and the honor. Christ Beyonce. Yes. And it takes me back to when the Renaissance era happened and that whole thing, and the concert. And uh, we want the team over there, Beyonce team, this time around to invite us to Club Renaissance, I mean Club Revolution. <laughs> that's, his, that's what he thinks your album is gonna be called, Beyonce. Yes. Invite us. <laughs> we had an amazing time. At the Renaissance? Last year. You share? At, at the show. We had nosebleed tickets that we overpaid for. Yeah. Oh my god. Once we got there, we realized Stress. just how bad it was. It was really bad. Really actually seated in the very back of the studio next to the concrete wall. Yeah. It was like obnoxiously bad. And um, you could not stand up. Yeah. And watch the show. It was like a 90 degree angle. You would have to sit down in those seats. Yeah, you would fall to your death if you ever if you tried to move or dance. And I'm the type of person who likes to move and dance and sing like I'm having my own con own little concert. Yeah. And that would not have been able to be an option there. And but there was a big trend of people getting upgraded. Um, their tickets upgraded on TikTok. And but the first thing that we encountered when we when you walk into the studio, because Atlanta had caught on to that, and they're like, mm -mm, y'all are not getting no upgrades up in here. Right. So, um, I, I didn't, didn't give up. I didn't think we were gonna get upgraded. After that, no, but I asked around staff members, I was nice, you have to be nice to the staff members, and um, one of them on the, near the escalator dropped me a little birdie, and he's like, um, if you go to section A32 or something like customer that. Customer service. Customer service. There was a specific one though that you had to go to. Yeah. And I kept that in my mind, but we got all the way up to the seats and Angelo had on heels and he, his feet hurt and he was ready to give up. Yeah. He had sat down he's like, we're just going to sit here for the concert. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I was like, no, but I can't do it. I can't go out like this. So we went down there and tried our luck and we stood in line and we were like, 
15 people in line. Yeah. And um, this lady came out of the back and she noticed us. And we were sickening. I had my sickening red heels. And he had his um, sh uh, knight in shining armor on. And yeah, we explained to her that we fucked up. <laughs> we got some jacked up seats. And we really, really, really are obsessed with Beyonce. It was my we first deserve. time seeing her. And I'm like, this is my first, first right. time seeing Beyonce. And it's horrible. And she was like, okay. And she went into the back. And there was a couple of other people trying to get her attention too. But she was like, no, hold on, hold on. She went to the back and came up out that thing and pulled us out of line, walked us 20 feet from the line, and slipped us two tickets for the 100 section. Which was like right in the middle, all the way at the bottom of the, and it was just, it completely transformed what our experience was yeah. going to be. So, shout out to our ticket angel. She hooked us up over at Mercedes Benz Stadium. We're not going to mention your name because we don't want them coming for you. But we love you and we appreciate what you did for us. Right. Um, and it just made the experience like 200 times better. Yeah, so this this year we're going to do it right and not mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And hopefully the Beyonce team will reach out to us. And... That's a little ambitious, but hey, you know, more crazier things have happened. So, right. thank you guys for watching this video. You all have been supporting our channel. We appreciate all the comments, all the likes, subscribing. We did not think our channel was going to go this way this fast so for that we thank you we are going to push out a lot more content we have a lot of personality ideas to share with you and we're just excited so like comment subscribe and um, we'll see you in the next